Lady of Victory Church on North Avenue in Thomas, Ohio, broadcasting via FM Radio 93.7, also live streaming via our parish Facebook page. We're about to begin the celebration of the 11 a.m. Mass for the Epiphany of our Lord. A reminder to anyone who made your train with us from the parking lot, at communion time, a minister will come out to the covered walkway to distribute communion to anyone praying with us from the parking lot. At that time, please come forward to receive communion and kindly return to your vehicle for the remainder of the celebration. For any unable to come forward, once those who are able have done so, then please drive up to the covered walkway and a minister will bring communion to you while you are in your vehicle. Again, then simply return to your spot in the parking lot for the remainder of this celebration. Thank you, and we will be in short. Again, good morning, everyone, and welcome. Please stand and let's sing together Angels from the Realms of Glory, and it's number 109. Behold, the Lord, the mighty one, has come, and his kingship is in his grasp, and power and dominion.
so we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. As we gather together before our God, we're mindful that God has indeed revealed his Son to us, not simply by a star, but by the love of God. For the times we have denied that love, for the times we have sinned, we call these to mind and so prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ Eleison. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we, who know you already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Rise up in splendor, Jesus Jerusalem. Your light has come. 
the glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you, your sons from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall see the radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midia and Ephraim. All from Sheba shall come bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise 
in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea. For thus it has been written through the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd the people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word, that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them, until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord.
Certainly in some cases, uh, the lights have been turned off outside and inside. The tree or, or the trees are down, either put away for another year or waiting outside to be recycled or disposed of. It's really time to get back to the business of life as we know it these days. Work, school, getting the house in order, all sorts of things that occupied our time prior to December 25th. Things that were briefly interrupted, if you will, put back on the back burner are now front and center again. Christmas happened. Check. And now, perhaps, we, we wait for that next reminder of things like salvation, redemption, even change and conversion. Yet, here in this place, we're still very much immersed in the unfolding of this Christmas story and not just become because there's trees and lights and stars and flowers and greens and, and tiny figures depicting our version of what took place that still occupied the space here. We're still immersed in the unfolding of this Christmas story because there's still so much of it to fully understand. So much of it to allow to, to sink in to impact us, to change us, and not simply just for a few short weeks, but for the rest of our earthly lives. These kings or magi or astrologers, these three individuals who represent the vastness and diversity of humanity are very much a part of this story. For they remind us of how each and every one of us is drawn to something more than ourselves. Unlike Herod, who was focused on himself, who was concerned about his position and his security to the point of fearing a mere infant. These magi were searching for something. No, they were searching for someone who they knew deep down inside would complete them would become the more they sought, not more gold, not more frankincense, not more myrrh, but the more of the substance and meaning of life. And they were not going to rest until they found that more. They followed a star. But the more they sought was inspired and motivated in them to do just that to make that choice, to, to set out on that journey. My friends, week after week after week, there's something that grabs our attention, something that, that sparks that interest deep down inside. Now, it may not be a startling and unusual star in the sky, but it's no less impactful 
and stirring. And so as a result, week after week after week, you, I, and others, we come to the crib. Week after week. We come expecting something, looking and searching for something, anticipating something. And there are times when, yes, it's difficult to name just what that something is, but we still continue to search, look and long for earnestly that more. Week after week after week, we come to this crib knowing that it's, it's only here that we have a chance of discovering it, of encountering it. It's here where we look for, see, and anticipate that great encounter with someone. Like the Magi, we lay at the feet of the king, your king and my king, whatever it is we bring as gift. Our anxiety, our joy, our gratitude, our despair. Our fears as well as our hopes and our dreams, for these are all part of who we are. And what greater gift can we give to the king than our very selves? Not just our unblemished selves, but most of all, our scarred and disfigured selves. So yes, we lay ourselves at his feet, no matter what shape we're in, for it's only when we leave a part of ourselves with him are we able, like the Magi, to take what it is that he gives back to us and take it with us. It's only then that, that our joy can be returned to us with greater joy that our despair can be given back to us, changed and transformed into hope. That the anxiety and fear that we give are returned to us, transformed into peace and calm. Yes, just like the Magi. In this continual unfolding of the Christmas story, our crib holds for us a sacred encounter just as it held for the Magi centuries ago. An encounter that, that changed them, changed their lives, their course and direction they have pursued prior to that holy and sacred encounter. Filling them with a new purpose, showing them a new course, giving them a new direction. So too, my friends, we are changed. We are redirected. We are given a new purpose and provided with the more we long for, the more we search for, the more we seek. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, 
and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In Christ, God's light has revealed to all the nations. May this holy light illumine our words of prayer this day and always. For God's holy church, that her light may beckon a rich diversity of peoples to come and be heirs with us, members of the one body of Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For nations covered by the clouds of ethnic and racial hatred, that in this new year their hearts may rejoice at the dawn of peace and the flourishing of righteousness, especially in Ukraine, as well as portions of Africa and the Americas, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For children abused and neglected, for parents in difficulty or danger, for the victims and survivors of clergy sexual abuse in the church, that the Christian community and others may offer gifts of care and advocacy, intervention and support, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who earnestly seek the face of God, especially those absent from our assembly, that through the power of God's Holy Spirit, this community's faith, hope, and love may guide them to the revelation of God's grace and a deeper relationship with Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For inquirers, catechumens, and candidates, as well as candidates for confirmation and the reception of First Communion, that they may become sharers in the promise of Christ through the gospel, preached and lived, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For each member of our faith community, that throughout this year we may grow in our love of God, make more manifest the love of others, and devote our entire being to becoming and making disciples, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering, especially John Cherubino, Bob Christian, Mary Damico, Danny Firth, Mike Firth, Daisha Ferdney, Jeffrey Brismer, Julianne Jenkins, Dan Lane, Tom and Candy Lorkowski, Sister Mercia, Mercia Madigan, Becky Mishler, Agnes Morin, Dora Petroki, Maggie Wright, Brooke Russell, Carol Scally, Katrina Shunk, Paula Simmons, John Von Newton, Bob Wakeman, Lou Wells, Farrell Whitus, Bishop Woost, that they may find comfort and strength in the care, prayer, and support of others, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who follow the star of faith and walk by the light of Christ in this life, especially those who have died, as well as Chuck File, who, for whom this Mass is offered, and all our beloved dead, that joyfully entering heaven, they may behold God face to face. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers and intentions that remain in the silence of our hearts and minds, those written in our prayer notebook, as well as those we have been asked to pray for, through our re Renewal Recommitment Initiative, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. By the light of a star, O God of the universe, you guided the nations to the light of the world. Until this Redeemer comes again in glory, we with the Magi seek the face of the Savior. Summon us with all those who thirst now to the banquet of love. May our hunger be filled and our thirst be quenched with your word of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Our offertory chant, we sing together, What Star Is This? And it's number 106. <laughs>
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
these gifts of your church, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Father most holy, for your great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offer them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe so that, bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. 
And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith celebrate the memorial of our redemption we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead we proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand and as we await his coming in glory we offer you his body and blood the sacrifice acceptable to you which brings salvation to the whole world look O Lord upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and granting your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant, Francis our Pope, Edward our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom, there with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
that the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my earth, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. seen his star in the east and have come with gifts to adore the Lord.
Our communion chant, let's sing together, we through Jesus, and it's number 105. The body.
Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. As we get close to bringing a, a, con, a close to this holy season of Christmas, not that it's over yet, um, and not that that's the only thing, but we certainly do thank throughout the season of Advent and Christmas and all year round those who give of their time and their talent for your parish's mission and ministry. Also, those who give the gift of treasure to support that mission and ministry. On load users, we always remind you that there are collection boxes at the entrance of the church for you to use, so thank you. Don't forget your bulletins. Um, when you leave, there are take bikes are at the uh, entrances of the church. There are calendars that remain, so have at it. You can have as many as you want. Um, if you need more, or don't forget our shut-in, so you can bring them some too. Also, we did put together, um, and it's out on tables near the entrances of the church, uh, a little bit of a history um, and just a, a story, if you will, of Bishop uh, Emeritus, or Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI uh, throughout his time as pontiff of the Roman Catholic Church. So those are available on tables near the entrances of the church as well. Life teen, our ninth and tenth graders, don't forget it. 5 p.m. tonight, you gather. Tomorrow is the feast of the baptism of the Lord and the official end of the season of Christmas. We will celebrate with an 8:30 a.m. mass, and we are thrilled to be able, as part of that whole day, uh, to receive and present the relics of Saint Manuel Gonzalez Garcia and Blessed Carlo Acutis um, at that liturgy. The day will include then, following that, the, that liturgy, all-day exposition of the Blessed Sacrament, and also an opportunity for the faithful to come and just spend some quiet time in the presence of the Lord in the sacrament, but also of those relics of the saint and the blessed um, throughout the day. If you've not yet signed up, um, and again, uh, primarily the, the main reason for the request for that is we do need to have at least two honor guards, if you will, for the sacrament and the relics throughout the day, half hour increments. If you've not yet done so, sign up sheets are on tables near the entrance of the church. We hope that you will take advantage of, of the time throughout the day to just come and be in the presence of the Lord and spend some quiet time in prayer. Uh, again, we're thrilled and we're privileged to be able to offer these relics and this time tomorrow. Um, to the faithful of, of this church and hopefully of other churches. So again, check the sign-up sheets. Uh, the church will be open all day, the Blessed Sacrament will be exposed all day, the relics will be present all day, and we'll conclude tomorrow evening with evening prayer and benediction at 7 o'clock p.m. So again, we hope to see you and others there. <laughs> My friends, join with me as we ask in the spirit of God's epiphany that we celebrate this day, God's blessing on this chalk and on us. May God, who provided a safe dwelling for the eternal word, bless this chalk, the homes of believers who will use this chalk to mark the entryways and the people who live there. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And I'm looking for three individuals. The prayer for the blessing is included in the envelope with the chalk. How efficient are we, you know? You're going that way. You go west, you go east. 
just like the wise men. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who has called you out of darkness into his wonderful light, pour out in kindness his blessing upon you, and make your hearts firm in faith, hope, and charity. Amen. 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 And since in all confidence you follow Christ, who today appeared in the world as a light shining in darkness, may God make you too a light for your brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. And so when your pilgrimage is ended and you come to him, whom the Magi sought as they followed the star, and whom they found with great joy, the light from light, who is Christ the Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go announce the gospel of the Lord. Amen. And let's sing together the first Noel number 110 and we'll just sing verse 1, 2, and 3. 